Second one in a row. We 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 out here for real, for real. Um, hold on, let me pull up this. Uh, I wrote, a, I wrote like a skeleton of the speech. You know what I'm saying? This is this is really for Nate. Nate, I'm sorry, I didn't write a speech. Like, just pray. Just pray everything goes okay right now. Your phone will be okay after this. I'm not gonna curse anybody out. It's gonna be good. <laughs> be here for the wrong reasons. Um, thank you, Lena. Uh, thank you, Michael. Thank you for Wet News for uh, acknowledging my contributions. Um, this is the last person of the year of the decade, so we're just going to call this the person of the decade. Yeah. All right? Um, at the beginning of this decade, I was in a very different place than I am right now. Um, at the beginning of this decade, I actually used to carry around this BMW key. It's like 528i BMW key that I always had on me because um, I used to live in that car. And uh, I used to always say, like, you know, I'm going to keep it with me so I can remember where I'm, where I'm from when I'm buying houses and when I'm doing shit. And, I, and then I lost the key. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's still, it's still near and dear to me. At the beginning of this decade, I was working at AT&T. Um, I was really miserable in my life. I was really just trying to, like, figure it out at, um, at every turn. I was never really, like securing my decisions um, to be a fashion designer. My, my family wasn't used to that notion. Um, that seemed like something that was really far-fetched because Haitian immigrant family, um, we, know, we know to be a nurse, you know, try to be a doctor, a, phys a physician's assistant, paralegal, something like that. Um, and you just try to do your best and you know, raise your kids as, as, as uh, eloquently as you possibly can with that information. Um, when I told my family that I wanted to be a fashion designer uh, all of 19 years ago, uh, when I was 13 years old, uh, it, that conversation didn't go well. Um, it, it, you know, it, I stuck to it though. And I think, you know, um, part of my journey has been like really, uh, I've been taking a long way and like really sticking to my, my, my guns on things and sticking to my guns on like what it means to be black in this space and, and ostracized in this space and everything like that. And, um, the the long way is indeed long. That's the you know it's the best way I can describe it. Um, so, you know I really appreciate this honor. Uh, person of the decade <laughs> definitely comes with a long receipt. Uh, <laughs> definitely comes with a long receipt of people who helped me get such an honor. I know it's easy to believe your favorites achieve success on their own because the theory you know the theory supports antisocial behavior, which we're which we've um, grown to believe and love and understand. Um, but I'd be lying if I, did, I said I did this by myself. This year I experienced my first spiritual awakening, um, my first public panic attack, my first, uh, uh, my first time like having to travel to like multiple continents in a week, like four continents in a week or something like that. Um, I met lifelong friends. Uh, I read about nine books. I created, a, I created over 25 jobs in this past, like, maybe three months alone. Um, and, I, and, and one of the things that I learned this year uh, is that true suffering is waiting for a thank you. I think that um, believing what you're doing is good has to be for you, has to be, like, genuine. If not, then uh, if you're waiting for accolades, if you're waiting for... Uh, awards and things like that that never come, you'll find yourself in a purgatory. And I try not to end up in that space. Um, instead, I'm going to say thank you to all the people that went into making this year what it was and to making me, into making me the person of the decade. Um, so <laughs> I'm blessed to have my day ones, my best friends, people who really like look out for me, um, my everyday homies, people who talk to me on the phone every day. Florence, my sister, Eric McNeil, Robbins, Darrell, Anthony Hendrickson, Antoine Phillips, Jeremy Ricketts, Josh, Jerron, Christopher, Ryan, Q, Thevia, Arlene, Hans Vereen, Himwadi, Clara, Maggie, Aurora, Kennedy, Marika, Shelley, Damien, Damien Preston, Dilcia, Law, and Jess, who teach me what relationships should look like and not settling for bullshit. Uh, 
Kyle Hagler, G-Day, Toby, Jerry Lorenzo, for always picking up the phone, always talking to me, always giving me advice, always pr um, plugging me with factories, whatever I need. Angela Escovito for telling me she loves me every every single morning. Um, people, have, people who've inspired me this year, who we might not be the best of friends yet, but I've been watching you guys and I've been listening to you guys. You've been taking time out to have really fire conversations with me. Um, and those who aren't with us anymore, especially Nipsey. Um, Nipsey inspired me for Collection 4. You'll see it next year. Um, and then a few weeks after we spoke about what my next collection was going to be about, he passed away. Uh, Colin Kaepernick, PJ Tucker, Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Damian Preston again, Sha Shaquif Cathy, Jay-Z, Anthony Soleil, Steve Stout, ASAP Ferg, Joey Badass, Brent Fias, Ty Baisley, Carmen Cuba, Ibra Aki, Shiona, Melina, Lena, Tracy Ellis Ross, Mike, Makaya Carter, La Laurent Clarkin, Jen Rubio, Emery Jones, Biggs Burke, Virgil, Emily Bodie, Jonathan Cohen, Prabhu Garang, Telfar, Christopher John Rogers, Usher, and Kay Unger. Um, some things that really kept me like, uh, sorry, I'm going into the ingredients right now. Some of the things that really kept me like uh, grounded this year, Wale's album, IDK's album, uh, YB and Corday. Just so happens that the best albums that came out this year came from dudes from the DMV. I don't know what that's about. Um, I listened to uh, Division and Her every day this year. It's important that I let you know that. Uh, to the organizations that we support and love, the Innocence Project, Yellow Hammer Fund, Ali Forney Foundation, Precious Blood Ministries, Good, Good Kid, Mad City, Amina Matthews, Cowgirls of Color, Compton Cowboys. You guys do the work on the ground that really keep me um, focused and, and, and make me know that I'm not doing enough. Uh, the PMR team for busting their, their ass every single day, uh, working for little money. Um, but now our time has come. We're about to flip that script real quick. CB, Nate, Quentin, Tyler, Malika, Brian, Kat, Kara, Berlin, Jatan, Amari, Taylor, Cam, Anthony, and definitely Vicky. Uh, the Reebok team, Anna, Priscilla, Sandy, Jill, Chris, and Evan. Um, Brittany for always helping me piece the shit together and putting my shows together. Dario for being able to see through my visions and like I come with I come to him with these cryptic ass ideas of what my show should look like, and then he puts it all together. The drip choir, everything like that's through Dario. Love that kid for real. Um, the list of people who broke my heart is probably longer than this list, um, but I won't disrespect the people who love me by using by utilizing this time to acknowledge them um, and. Uh, my, as my last uh, words, as the person of the decade, I want you guys to all raise your glass of champagne right now, and let's toast to the next one. Um, thank you guys so much. Have an amazing night. Thank you. Good night.